Hello, sweet tune. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Lady P. So, how is my lovely friends doing today? I hope you guys are doing good. Today, I want to be sharing with you another Obonga recipe. So, my people, I will be sharing with you how I make my pot and make. So this recipe is very very good for health, especially it's very very good to use to make your baby food. So I will be sharing with you how I make my powder make. So sit and relax and see how I got this sweet and yummy powder make. So this is very very simple to make and it's very very good for health. You can use it to take your tea your pap so it's better for you to make your powder make than going to shop and go and buy those ones they sell in shop you can make it you that is watching this video you can make your powder make at home so sit and see how i got this recipe thank you for watching guys here is one jug of liquid milk that I will be using to make powder milk first step I will turn in the milk inside a large pan then I will put it on top of gas and I will be cooking this with low heat So all I have to do is to stir this every second so I don't want to go anywhere so I will keep on stirring it. You can see that so I will stir everything together. So you don't have to go far, especially this time that it's done to boil. So you don't have to go far. If not, it will pour away. So you don't want that. So you have to stand beside the milk. So I will keep on stirring it like this until all this milk you see gets dried. see that I will keep on this process so do you know sometimes I used to ask myself how can I turn liquid milk into a powder milk so that is how you will think if this is your first time of seeing this video my sister don't be discouraged you can make it okay so you can make this it's very very simple to make and it's very very good for health Okay, it's very very good for health so you can make it so you can see how I'm stirring it so I have to stir this every second I don't even want my hand to come out from the milk if not it will burn so I don't want that so I will keep on stirring it you can see it it's getting thicker now it's getting thick you can see that so as much you stir as much thick you get so I will keep on stirring it like this, stirring it. You can see it. You can see it. As more you stir it, as more it gives you tick like this. So this is very very good. You don't need to go to shop and be buying those milk in the shop here. You can do this and use to put, uh, make your baby food. If you look at it, so it's very very good. You can see that it's just getting dry, getting dry, but you have to stir it. If not, it will burn. So when it burns, that means it's not that useful to you. So you have to keep on stirring it like this. 
digital and you can imagine that big look this is how you can see now you can see this so this is like magic i'm telling you you can see that so you see how liquid milk turn into as a <laughs> so this is very very good okay it's very very good so if you haven't tried this so go and give this a try it's very very simple to make if you follow this method that i use so it's very very simple to make you can see that so at this point it's ready to dry so here is a plate so i will be wrapping this plate with a four paper so the purpose of the foil paper is to help the down to get dry when I keep it under the sun so that will make it to have a quick and nice dry so you can see the side that I'm slicing the milk so this is how I will just slice it in little quantity like this before I will put it under the sun so this will take me about three hours to try this it take me about three hours to try this so if you don't have enough sun you can as well put it in your oven so in that point it will still help you to dry but me i use sun to dry mine not that i don't have oven but i say let me use sun because sun is here so that is why i'm using sun so if you don't want to use sun you can as well go for oven you can see the side that i'm slicing it so when I'm drying it, so like after 20 minutes, I will go under the sun and just use my hand to just keep it wet and just keep it just, just like just taking after it so that is all about it. So at this point, it's dry. You see the look. You don't see the difference. So at this point, it's already dry. So it's ready to blend. So I will be adding it inside my blender and I will be adding 3 spoon of sugar. So I will be adding only 3 teaspoon of sugar because I don't want to use more sugar so it's not good to add more sugar in your milk. So that is why I'm using only 3 spoon of sugar so I have to blend this until everything gets smooth so I have to blend this about 20 minutes so I want to see nice smooth so that's why I have to blend it about 20 minutes you can see that so at this point it's smooth and nice so I have to use my higher filter to filter this So you see how nice they look after filtering it so you see that so this is very very good you see how nice this look you see that so you can make your own meat for that milk by yourself so it's very very good to make your milk by yourself than going shop and buy you see how nice this look so this is very very good if you haven't tried it go and try it so it's very very simple to make and it's very very good even you can make use of it use it to drink your tea your pop your coffee so that is it so go and give this a try if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel what are you waiting for go and subscribe because more video is coming your way by god grace because when you subscribe to lady Beast channel you go to learn one or two things in the TV video so try to subscribe after watching this video thank you guys for watching so i will be leaving you for now see you guys in my next video bye Inside of me, in these sense that I can't.